Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden and I got another update for you with the indoor grow bed Today is I believe day 37 and it's been exactly one week since my last update and as you see, look at how beautiful this little garden looks right here and this is a small little container that I basically covered up recently to cover the roots and this is a little 16 by 11 I believe by seven it was and look at the beautiful progress we have on day 37 look at how big and lush everything looks it's completely filled and bushy and if I pull this thing out a bit let me show you something if we lift up some of these radishes they're beginning to get nice and big look at the inside right there and this one is particular is I think one of the biggest ones that I've, that I've seen so far and the crazy thing is it's basically just growing above the ground and it has a tiny connection to the cocoa core at the very bottom so I mean I've never grown radishes like this above the ground before and it's due to getting so leggy but nonetheless I'm still pretty happy with the results and when you like s move all this crazy bush to the side you could see all the radishes basically laying there and getting nice and big some are obviously bigger than others but it's looking really beautiful and I'm pretty happy with the results right now I wasn't sure if the radishes would work and if it would grow this way since it got so leggy but for those of you who are growing plants and radishes in particular if they get a tiny bit leggy don't worry about it don't just go and pull them out and kill the plant let it do its thing and it might surprise you sometimes nature takes over and grows very well look at these beautiful lettuce leaves that are poking out all over the place this is nice little lolo rosa sprinkled throughout and this is one of my favorite lettuces to grow it's very sweet and buttery and quite delicious i really enjoy it and it grows very quick and it stays nice and compact and short, which is nice. Here's actually an example of it growing right here. And as you see, beautiful purple and green leaves. And it grows very, very good in the garden, indoors or out. And the radish leaves are also edible. They're nice and big, but the, the older the leaves get and the bigger they get, the more thorny they become. So some people might like it, some people might not, but I would still give it a try you never know and I just wanted to show you a quick update about what's going on with this little garden and there's not much else going on the chives are growing of course mixed throughout but a lot, most of them have actually died because they got so covered up with all of this lush greenery all over the place so the chives weren't able to poke, poke its way out and the ones that did survive seem to be doing quite well so we'll keep this grow bed going like i said until i'm able to have a full harvest obviously i could come in and eat a small salad right now but i want to wait until the, the radishes are ready and that's when we'll pull the plug but in the meantime things are going well and i'm very happy with the results so as always don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe and thanks for watching